There are five mistakes people make when designing SaaS for enterprises that you don't want to repeat. And that's not like, should I use drop of shadow here kind of mistakes. Met this up early and you're stuck for years. The good thing is that you can easily avoid these mistakes. All right, before we dive in, let's sort out a few things. First, how exactly does enterprise software differ compared to your average SaaS product? The first thing that comes to mind is that these products are used by entire organizations, not just individuals or small groups. This means that it has to fit the needs of many different people and departments within the organization. It also has to handle a lot of data and lots of people using it at the same time without slowing down. So the product has to be designed in a way where it can continue handle more data and work from its users. Things like charts and search tools can help with this. And with that out of the way, let's get into the design aspect of the enterprise software. So first things first, this will sound pretty obvious at first, but you'll see the point in the second, and that is ignoring the real user. One major mistake that designers often make in the enterprise world is distinguishing between who buys the software and who uses it. They are not always the same person. If you do everything right at this stage, you greatly improve your chances. Take Slack, which flourishes thanks to the end user traction. Or take Populate, a healthcare startup we collaborated with. Unlike their competitors, who seems to be focused only on the needs of the healthcare administrators who purchase the software, we decided to focus on the needs of the end users, the doctors. We quickly realized that existing apps in the market were not meeting doctors' needs. They were clunky and inefficient, contributing to workplace stress. With this insight, we tailored our design to address those pain points. For instance, we implemented voice-to-text features and intuitive interfaces that doctors could navigate with ease. The result? A user-friendly app that not... The result? A user-friendly app that not only satisfied the needs of the purchase managers, but also made the doctors' lives easier. This dual focus gave Populate a strong competitive edge in the market. All right, and our next point is our complicating things. Let's face it, enterprise operations are complex beasts. Tons of tasks, lots of roles and data. Now, you might think, hey, let's add a feature for everything. Hold on a sec, big mistake. You do that and you end up with a software nightmare that nobody can figure out. So here is the deal. Don't go overboard. Zero in on what people actually need to get done. Make it clean, make it simple. Because at the end of the day, you want your software to be a tool that helps people, not another headache they have to deal with. If you want to keep it simple while dealing with the complex stuff, here's your cheat sheet. Hierarchy. Important stuff front and center, details in the back. Navigation. Make it no-brainer to get around. Less is more. Focus on the key features, ditch the extras. Quick fixes. An undo button can be a lifesaver. User testing. Listen to the real users, they'll guide you. Another thing I have to mention is the fact that security concerns are massive when it comes to enterprise products. If you drop the ball on the security, you're not just risking the data, you're gambling with your reputation. Security isn't a nice-to-have, it's a must. Forget to design foolproof login processes, clear permission hierarchies, or admin panel that help you catch issues early. And you'll be chasing away more than just minor bugs. You'll be saying goodbye to user first. If you're not alone with what I'm seeing here, you'll want to hop over to my other video focused solely on design and security. Trust me, it's a must watch. All right, and our next point is lacking consistency across every single aspect of the product. The need for consistency in the enterprise software design is huge because you want your users to feel comfortable and reduce any confusion they might have. That's why we actually create design systems, or the small versions UI kits, for every single one of our clients. A design system is like a playbook rules, guidelines, and components that make sure your software looks and works the same, no matter where the user is within the platform. Look at Google Workspace, Dropbox Business, and Microsoft Teams as an example. They've got their design systems nailed down, making sure everything is cohesive and user-friendly across their products and services. The important lesson here is that if your product has many parts, don't make users learn everything again and again. Oh, and if you're keen on digging a little deeper into design systems, I've got this video that break it all down. Our next point is another big one, and that is ignoring scalability. When designing enterprise software, it's essential to make sure that it can handle various metrics like more data, more users, and changing business needs. Otherwise, as more users come in, your system could slow down, leading to a lot of times and frequent crashes. You'll end up throwing money and problems, trying to fix them on the fly. 
this is always more expensive than planning ahead. To prepare for scalability, use smart design techniques like modular design. Modular design lets you add, remove, or update components without messing with the whole system. It's like Lego. You can easily add more pieces to the structure. This way, it can meet organization's complex needs and at the same time give users a seamless experience that they rightfully deserve. All right, that would be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get some value out of it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next one.